you may be very new to uh, social media, right? So I was very new to social media three years ago, but I do have my marketing background. So 12 years ago, when I started my own business, I used all my marketing backgrounds to market who am I. Um, I'm a style coach. Uh, I'm Julia right now. I'm a TikTok business coach. I've been using TikTok for three years to generate leads and to increase my revenue, right? So many of you are asking, like, how do I start, Julia? How do I start a TikTok? How do I attract the right audience, the right followers, and convert them into customers? So it also dawned on me 12 years ago, like how I started my business and I was sharing my stories, right? And then I realized that the person that I attract are those successful people because they are inspired by my success stories, but I also have like people coming from other backgrounds, from all walks of life, uh, from admin, from sales professionals, um, even women who got retrenched. They also wanted to set their own business. So that's why I keep sharing my stories and that's how I attract the people who wants to work with me or I want to work with them. Right. The second thing is, right, you need to know, I, st I started TikTok three years ago during the pandemic. I have no idea what social media is. I always use Facebook to market my uh, services and products. And before that on TikTok, right, I was always on Facebook live, doing live every day, talking about skincare, talking about makeup. And then I realized, right, it was so silent. Nobody was like responding. Then God told me to switch to TikTok. So I, I decided to use TikTok and I started to just share my stories. Who am I? I was divorced six years ago. I was uh, broke depressed and I have to find my own space, right? I have to move out the house myself and I realized I can do a lot of things without a man. <laughs> yeah, and um, throughout this 12 years journey of being an entrepreneur, right, I realized that I have strengths that I didn't know can unleash, you know what I mean? So a lot of times, right? When you start sharing stories like this, you're like a catalyst to inspire people to want to be like you. So on your social media, it's the same thing. You need to just inspire people, tell your stories, and you attract the right followers and customers to want to be with you. Because the key thing is, right, when you're on social media, you are just like a brand, like a, like a social media influencer. Unknowingly, you have become an influencer. So I, <laughs> unknowingly becoming an accidental influencer that when I go to restaurants sometimes, uh, some girls who uh, was like, hey, I saw your video. You know, they would approach me and say, I saw your video. Then my sister was like, you can't be a bitch anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a bitch, lah, but it's just that we are just like, joking, right? So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I am just telling you what I did the past three years of my life on TikTok. So if you like what you see here, follow me for more business tips and how to grow your TikTok community. I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.